Hello, pioneers! It's Fantastic Mr. Ghost. Welcome to Satisfactory 1.0. It is here! Congratulations to the Coffee Stain Studios for finally getting it done. I know it's been a long road for you guys. Look at this! I got some bacon. Mmm, delicious. Potential level yes. collected. Reminder Ooh. that look and smell alone do not provide sufficient okay. data to determine exact risk of consumption. You don't say. Just because it looks <laughs> like you can eat it does not mean it won't eat you. Store this potential resource <laughs> for later use. Okay, so she says to store it for later use. So I, if you haven't noticed, it, I am in the northern forest, and I need to find out the starting area that I enjoy using is oh 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 you jerk okay now i notice oh the animals they are really aggressive now i mean amazingly aggressive so i uh <laughs> i'm like what the heck is going on here so i gotta get a heads up view okay i think we gotta go that way east so let's head down here the northern forest has gotten a facelift and it is beautiful oh the berries so while we're headed over Potential oh, Ada's going to talk collected. here. If consumed before authorized is compatible with the human digestive system by Fixit, okay. the consumer is responsible for any and all consequences. Store Good to this know. potential resource for later use. Okay, store for later use, she's saying uh, now. Uh, you can't eat them directly. Uh, they do, those little berries do respawn, uh, from what I understand. And you can feed them to lizard doggos and make them into pets, which is so cool. All right. There's some lore behind Lizard Doggo, too. It used to be just like, oh, it's just a creature. And then P players started calling it Lizard Doggo. And it stuck with the... The developers thought it was cool. And it became uh, more than what they were expecting, which is... That's awesome. I love that. It's organic uh, growth with uh, the memes and stuff with the Lizard Doggo. Lots of art has been, uh, you know, created due to the Lizard Doggo. Whoa! Whoa! Look at this, huh? Okay, there's a big cavern here. Oh, uh, right here. It's a tough area. There's a hard drive somewhere around here, which I will be... Oh, my God, I love getting those hard drives. That is so much fun. The exploration in the game is amazing. I, to be honest, I cannot remember where all the hard drives are. I used to use a, a website to find them, and it would tell you which ones you found and which ones uh, are no longer... Or which ones you need to find. I can't remember which website it is. I'll figure it out. Okay, so we got to head down this way. The, the Northern Forest is quite a big area, but there's a spot that I always start off in because I just enjoy it. It makes it for a nicer time. And, you know, we're get on, we're going to get on trains and stuff eventually anyway, so it doesn't matter where you start at that point. Let's grab this little mushroom here. Okay, well, I'll meet you over at the starting point. And what we can do, be, oh, and I, I think I said it, I skipped onboarding. So we have all these resources to scan. I'm going to scan limestone here. And I think, oh, hi. Uh, I think that will be, uh, I have no idea where I am. This, I know where I am, but I'm trying to remember now. I know I have to go east. I'm out, wow, they reskin these too. They look really good. They look like bacon. That's why they call them bacon, uh, whatever, Aguilero, or heck they are. But yeah, it's it's like a bacon thing. You can't eat them, but uh, you're matter, better off waiting to get better recipes because you can make it into health items, really good health items. So yeah, I gotta fa I gotta go. Wait a minute now. Let's head this way. Uh, I'll meet you over by the starting area. I they put me really far away from where I want to be. Holy cow, look at this. That is a Mercer Sphere. They've changed it now. That's a Mercer Sphere. Oh, God. Whoa. This is a shrine to windows oh. What did it say? This is a shrine? To something weeping? I don't know. But yeah, that that's the new Mercer Sphere. All right, I'm going to head over to the area. Hopefully, I make it there alive. All right, it wouldn't help if I put my weapon in my hand here. Ha! Ah, there it is. And this is the starting area, folks. 
these leaves are keeping me from seeing here. And there is a hard drive right there. So I'm going to drop down. I've got two health ticks off my health there. Two ticks off my health, I should say. But over here, there's two creatures. But you can uh, score... Ooh, some iron plate. Oh, there they are. They're pretty easy. Oh, you jerk. That second one got me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, two are uh, kind of a pain, but... Okay, there goes one. That one's over there. Give me that thing. Where are you? Samples of new alien species acquired. Notable features are go? blunt teeth, suggesting it is herbivorous, and a thickly plated skull and spine, suggesting it is proficient at inflicting oh, and there receiving it is. blunt force trauma. Come here. Preserve the remains for later study. Gotcha. <laughs> well, they got me pretty good. I'm not, I, I know they're not that bad. If you die, uh, you just have to come back and get your stuff. Ooh, supercomputer. Oh, yeah. That's nice to have early on. What I usually do is I'll save those for MAM research. And, you know. Oh, and then we've got the hard drive here. This is hilarious. Okay, you gotta listen to this. Here's the hard drive. If you're new to the game, you want these. Damaged okay, listen. Hard drive successfully acquired. Okay. All pioneers are contractually obliged to preserve and secure any recovered hard drives for future analysis, which uh -huh. may result in benefits to the Fixit mission. Okay. Speculation as to why uh -huh. there are crashed freighters in your Fixit designated zone is discouraged as specified in your contract. <laughs> so th what they're saying is they've changed the it's added a lot to the to the dialogue now and it's been speculated as to why are these hard drives here and what how the how did what happened well it's funny because there's been some videos about it and it's exactly like what the hub you know what when you put the hub down and you send things up they are exactly the same vehicle that flies up out of space or into space and so that means there's been potentially pioneers on this planet before, right? And they're saying, don't speculate as to why they're here. Well, we're going to speculate. Screw you, fix it. <laughs> All right, so let's get... I'm going to get this area here cleaned up. While I'm talking, I'm doing that anyway. And we're going to put the hub here. Uh, let's get that. Okay, cool. I like it nice and clean so that I can see what I'm doing. All right, uh, I'll go into our queue here. Press Q, and everything is unlocked. That's why I like the um, I like the onboarding, but I want to speed this up. So special, and we need an equipment workshop first. We'll spin this around. I'm gonna put it right up against the the rock face here. And boom, and we're gonna put power over here for expansion, and then the hub is gonna go right here. And we already have the space elevator unlocked as well. Okay, there's the hub. Ba boom, baby. So it's all done. Oh, this thing is so fun. Good good memories, man, of this thing. Now, I've been playing this game since it came out in early access way back, I think in 2018. Holy crap, it's been that long. This thing, so you look at, see? That's exactly what crashed over there. So, hmm, don't speculate about what it could be. All right, so in here we have tier zero already done because I've skipped the onboarding. That's a tutorial. I don't need the tutorial. I'd love to go over it, though, but eh, timing. So we've got the uh, the Tier 0, Part 1, Part 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we, we have all this stuff unlocked. Here's Tier 1, Logistics. I want the splitter. So we're going to work on that first. Next thing is, okay, over here, this is the workbench. And you can make the portable miner and the Zeno Zapper or Zeno Zapper, whatever you call it. Right here, we have the crafting bench. And this is how we make biomass now. Uh, you have to unlock this with the tier zero stuff. Uh, oh, I ran out of room, so I got to put some things in here. So the hard drives, the mushrooms, and whatnot. Okay, I'm going to make some biomass for the power on the back side of it. And by the way, I put the hub power to the back as well all right here's the power over here on the back so I, I will explain things for new players as i go 
my expectation is that there is going there's a lot of new players coming in on the game here uh oh and one thing i wanted to mention here too is that if you mouse over the the leaves here it's 15 mega jewels and if you mouse over the wood uh if i can find it here it is oh uh we've got 100 mega jewels and the biomass is 180 mega joules so it's quite a bit of power when you smash it up into more concentrated uh, burnable all right, that should do it. I got plenty of biomass to get us through with the beginning game, I would say. Huh. And you're never, you're always going to need biomass for your chainsaw. And, you know, it kind of goes, depends on what you're doing. You might need to clear an area if you're uh, building in a new spot. All right, let's get to building, folks. We finally got to our area. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to clear this out. Let's get rid of this node here. Pressing E on this. You have to remove this in order to place a miner down. So we're going to work on iron, copper, stone in that order. Press Q and production, miner MK1. I'm going to build this way because uh, we don't have foundations unlocked. Now we need a smelter to smelt that stuff. Coming out of the miner, the ore. I'm going to give myself room because when we unlock the splitters, we will... Have, I'll be putting splitters here to uh, support more smelters because we can support four, currently four smelters off of one miner. Okay, and now we need a constructor, which is here. And this is going to be a one-to-one -one for what we're going to do here. So what we're going to do, uh, let's see, I think I need, yeah. So make some iron plate, and right now I've got 249, so we're going to need plate for belt, which we have unlocked here, and there is that one. Okay, now uh, we'll get into ratios, but let me just briefly go over it. Uh, 120 ore per minute, MK1, not overclock, because you can't over eventually overclock. This one was set to iron ingots. It takes 30, so we get we can support up to four, but we need the belts to do it. These belts, MK1, are are 60 items, so we're limited by our belt right now. Now I can put the uh, iron in there. So we'll have 30 out of the ingot, so it's a one-to-one. -one. For the iron, we need 30, exactly. So one smelter is going to be dedicated to iron uh, plate here. So that's how that's going to work. Now, uh, what I want to do is get... A power pole and we have the materials to be able to do all this so let's string our power up for the iron and also the copper I'm gonna put a power pole there now I'm gonna switch to the wire cable and we're gonna hook both these up to here click on the power pole and you either have a wire or a power pole it's really nice quality of life thing they added a while back Let's go over here, plop that baby down there. I'm gonna string it all the way over here. Now there is a limit. This is one of the quality of life things they added which made building so much nicer. Is that now you can actually know where you can, how far the wire will reach. So we'll plop this baby here. Now what I'm gonna do is create a kind of a wire bus. I'm going around this stuff. And we're gonna have our space elevator probably way back there. And we're gonna get through the first tier right here. So I'm going to place this one here, and then I'm going to go over here, place this one here, and then, now, this only has two on it right now, and this has one, so I'm going to go to the miner and to the smelter, and I have one left for a reason. This one here, actually, what I'm going to do is drag it over here, and then I'm going to connect this one to here. This one is going to feed two more machines eventually, and then we're gonna have more smelters. So uh, this one wire, this right here, oh, you know what? Uh, I think what I'm gonna have to do, oh, uh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, yeah, so let's do this. So if you press F, you get in the decon mode, take the wire out. I'm gonna grab this, whoops, wrong one, uh, two. I'm gonna grab this pole, I'm gonna put it here as well. And then 
I'm going to connect that. Because I need this wire connection to go here. And I try not to clip because I want to be able to troubleshoot what I'm doing, you know? Oh, hold on a minute. Let me get out of there. And we'll go into our build menu. Now, we're going to work on copper here. And then I'll draw that power down. And we'll power everything up. And then we'll work on stone. Oh, crap. I got to get rid of this thing. All right. Let's go into our menu. Miner. And I want to make sure that I'm facing west here. Let's see. Yeah, I guess that's good. Okay. Boom. And then let's go and get our smelter here. And again, we can support four smelters. I don't like that. Uh, off of one node here. And let's go get the smelter. I wanted to line it up more to that. So I want to leave enough room for a, a splitter here. That's plenty of room. In fact, it's probably too much, but that's okay. Okay, now let's go and uh, get... Let's set this up to copper ingots. And then over here, I'm going to put another constructor. Uh, I'm, I think that... Well, yeah, let's just go right in a line here. And then we'll slap the belt in and let's go in here and we'll make copper wire or wire now we'll get number two and this one here because it's terminating in a sense over here I'm not too worried about uh doing what i did over there so i have one extra line there and this one will go here and here and I got an extra line here, so I can add another smelter. All right, this will start up our copper cable. And that we need that for, as you can see, the milestone up there. So there we go. Got, oh, do I have only two? Oh, wow, I only have two wire left. Okay, that's uh, a problem. Let's make sure that I can build a miner. Uh, yeah, that's concrete and iron. And then we need a constructor. Okay, it's cable. Good. Okay, sounds good. All right, now let's make sure we're all working here. We're good. And we've got 60. All right, so what I'm going to do now is switch this to iron rods. And make you know, it always pops what's in the inventory, the input slot into your inventory. Just put it back in. Be sure to do that so you keep trash from... You know overwhelming you oh you know what i've got copper in my inventory i want to get rid of that because we do have limited slots hey you all right let's go over here okay good we're making the copper wire all right we got 22 we need 300 <laughs> there we go so that stacks to 500 last time i remember and they increased the stack size on the iron plate now and it is 200. Oh, we got 164. Okay, good. All right, so the wire is going to be our little bottleneck. All right, now let's go over to the stone patch. We'll set that up. And then uh, I think, well, let's go over here to the uh, hub. And uh, I want to put that in. I think we've got enough rods. So wait a minute, get in there. Okay, there we go. So we got those two done. Now, I wanted to get a wire. We'll grab that. And we're going to go around to the stone, which is over here. I pretty much have this area memorized. So it's going to be an easier time for me. So I'm going to put that there. Now, the issue here is that if you don't want to do clipping like I do, you got to kind of... I'm going to spend a, a little extra resources. Oh, no. Uh, good, I didn't die. All right. Or hurt, get hurt. So, yeah, I'll spend the extra resources to not clip if I can. Okay, the stone is around here somewhere. Where are you? Uh, is it over here? That's that's the hub over there. Yeah, it's really easy to get lost over here. Is this it? Wait a minute. Let me find the stone. There it is, right there. I always go too far over. All right, let's go over here. Uh, uh, let's see. I guess that'll be fine. I don't know how... Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got it. Okay, cool. All right, let's get rid of this thing. 
All right, now we got our miner. And what I'm going to do is go this way with the miner, like so. Uh, like that. And the base is going to be kind of uh, out over the uh, big valley here, or whatever this thing is. Uh, you know, the Grand Canyon, I guess. All right, and let's see. We'll go and get... We need a constructor only for cement, or it's called concrete. And now we need belt for this. And then here's our power pole, too. Oh, I didn't get it. Or did I? Wait a minute. Oh, I'm missing cable. Ah, crap. Okay, that's an easy fix. So what we got to do is go into our... Oh, you know, I hope I have enough wire to finish this up here. Let's check. So we got a crafting bench. Put that down. And hopefully I can make the cable. Yeah, I can make a little bit. Okay, that should be enough. So let's get this out of here. All right, we'll pop that and that. There we go, we did it. And now we need concrete. So concrete takes 45 a minute, uh, three limestone. So the rate is what you're really, all you need to look at here, 45 per minute. And we get 15 concrete a minute on that. And as you, you know, the same thing here, 120. So it's 45, 90, but we're gonna be, it per, we need 135, but the MK1 can only do 120. So what you can do is support two and a little bit more. And when you get priority splitters, you can prioritize uh, two and then have the spillover going into a thir uh, third one. So that's kind of how you would have to do it. But otherwise, just let it run. We got a little extra stone there from chopping that out. And now we've got 20 concrete. I'm hitting sneak because I've been playing Seven Days of Die so much lately. Oh, look. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought that was uh, this color is like a purple color, like quartz. I thought it was quartz. All right, so we are set up now to handle pretty much everything now. So what I'm going to do is AFK a little bit, and we'll get this milestone complete. And I think... That might do it for this episode because I want to keep them short. and But I hope to do more in the episodes by, you know, maybe pre-building stuff and showcasing it. And then we'll build something actual in the episode as well. All righty, Pioneers. It's time to unlock the first tier. Let's do it. So we got all our stuff set up here. Boom! Boom! And we get the magic red button. Kaboom! Oh, that's so epic. I love it. Logistics! Milestone. There it is. Reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to save <laughs> space and enhance the productivity of your factory. Merge, split, and lift. Fix it encourages you Kinda to like consider a bra. investing in verticality when it comes to factory logistics. There it goes. If you feel stressed by this complexity, really? imagine yourself on the shore oh, of the this calm is. ocean. <laughs> Breathe in. Visualize all the people relying on you. Uh -huh. The sea is made of billions of faces, each staring at you with hope and tears in their eyes. Okay. Breathe out. Yes. Feel refreshed and focused on your duties. <laughs> that is hilarious. So we got the lift here, the merger, and the splitter. And I'm going to put this in the hot bar. So you mouse over it, press number five, and it's in the hot bar, baby. So mouse over the uh, conveyor, and boom. Now we have the ability to do more. So let's go into our menu here. I, sh I could hot bar this stuff, but uh, I don't know. I might do it. Oh, why is this facing the wrong way? All right, so now uh, what I want to do is add the smelter here and we'll set this up for iron because that's where we are and let's get this wire here i can go to there like so now this is going to be um you know it's not going to be pretty because we're starting out the plan is to build way um i'm going to be building above uh we have a miner on this stone there's a stone right there and we're going to build above that and the base is going to be up above so we're going to belt all the resources 
to uh, some smelting columns. It's going to be a lot of them. And then we'll have the space. I'll be walking the space elevator down as we unlock stuff. It works out pretty well. And that way, because it, it's very difficult to future proof uh, this spaghetti here. All right, let's go ahead and slap that in there. I wanted to get this started up right now so that we can increase our... Uh, well, eventually I'm going to add to this. Uh, so I wanted to get that. That's the splitter part. Let's go over here. Now the stone one, I'll, oh, we have to do power as well. So yeah, don't, don't forget about that. Speaking of power, notice how we're right here. So when the when the consumption, the consumption is going to bounce around because the, the miners aren't always working because we're under capacity for that. So you're going to get a lot of spikes and stuff. But the max cons is 39 megawatts, but we're only... Uh, our capacity is 40, so we'll add more power in the next episode. Speaking of which, let's get some more of these. Like, see, I don't, even, I don't have to worry about cases because these things are so slow right now. <laughs> so, yeah, I got 197 there. Let's go... Oh, I switched this, I think, over to rods and then back to plate. So, let's see what we got here on this constructor here. Yeah, I wanted to build my plate up because we need belt... And rods, you know, it's for building more than anything else. I got 191. Now, you'll notice there's a little timer there. It's at 28 seconds. So, it's coming. I think I just heard it. Yeah, it. I think it just broke through. Yeah, it has like a sonic boom as it breaks into the atmosphere. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's let this thing dock. And then we'll set up the next milestone and work on that next episode. That is the coolest thing, man. I love it. Ah, freighter re-entry. All right, and then we're going to do base building next. So uh, what do we got here? 100 rods. Oh, we can do that. And 100 plate. We can do that. And what I'll do is I'll go I'll go over and get the concrete, and then we'll have this ready to go for next episode. So I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed so far. And uh, one of the things I want to talk about, too, just before I cut out here, I'm not sure how large I'm going to build, but if you don't, if you don't build big, then it's, you're waiting forever for stuff. But I mainly want to get this storyline thing figured out. And I want to know the story because I haven't watched anything on that. Oh, it does stack higher. Look at that. I think it stacks to 500 on the concrete. Look at that. We actually have the next milestone. All right, let's go to the hub and finish that up. We might as well. All right, here we are. Blip. <laughs> Just in time. So now what I'll do... We'll pop that baby. Yes. Building materials. Milestone reached. Yes. Several new structures are now available for improving factory organization. Oh. Foundations provide a building grid, which makes it easier to manage placement of any structure. In the event that you are experiencing amnesia for all events prior to planet fall, <laughs> be reassured that okay. memories of beloved humans and or animals would have only been distractions from your important mission. Okay. What the heck is all that about? Basic wall. Uh, now we have the foundations. So I think what I'll do is I'll AFK and get uh, AFK the base here and build up some concrete. Uh, oh, I love this music right here. So I'm going to build this uh, for the concrete because that we're going to need a lot of. And then I want to tap that stone next episode. All right. So I want to thank you for watching again. And we'll pick it up in the next episode. We'll get more power. We'll start to expand, maybe get a little better organization going here. But uh, mainly what I want to do is get through the, uh, the, well, the space elevator. You know, I might be able to do the space elevator out that way. Yeah, because now that I have the concrete unlocked, I think we can start actually doing that. All right, I'll see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. Peace out.